Well, thank you for tuning in to Dent Experts. Paintless dent repair is an amazing profession to be in. And as you know, I'm an independent technician out here in California. I don't have a shop. I just have my van. I have these mobile tech shade umbrellas. I have a clientele that is never ending. Lots of cars in California. And I get to work pretty much anywhere I want. In this case, I'm working in a public park right next to the baseball diamond on this $1,800 job. It's a Volkswagen Beetle. I've got this uh, VW Beetle here. And whenever you have a bent in edge like that, you almost kind of wonder if glue pulling is a good idea unless you support this edge. Because that's a lot of pressure to be lifting out. And what's gonna bite you is this big crown. But what's also gonna release too easily is this edge. And once you kink a 60 degree line or a 50 degree line, that's a that's a tough one. That, that'll ruin it. So it could be glue pulled this way. Where you're just pulling and leveraging off the tire. And this works great in lots of scenarios, but not this one because you're really just putting too much pressure on that edge right there. Those of you with dent dial tools, this is the slot bar 38 attached to the smaller slot bar and use it as a leverage pull like that. But in this case, I really wanted something safer, so I went to a regular bridge pull. And this is the slot bar 38. I still need to somehow take care of this edge from kinking back out and ruining it. So I tried to hold it with my hand and just to see if I could and the power was crazy so I decided to go. That's what's great about using a drill is you can just undo it really quick. And so I added more tabs. Now these are Cam Auto Pro tabs. Awesome for working a larger area and the slot bar can adapt to any tabs in the industry. This worked out perfect. So I gave it some really good pulls and it was doing great. Now I'm just going to move this apparatus up a little higher. So quick to do with this setup. There it is. Hooks right in. Just plant the feet and you're ready to go again. And onward. Pulling this out with ease, but that edge is still too strong for my hand. And this is not going to work out. So I'm going to now have to protect that edge. And that's really what's critical in this repair. And so I found a piece of aluminum in my van, taped it up, attached it to my cargo pole, attached that to my van, and now I got a nice strong edge to hold up against this. I think this will work. Okay, I got it all set up. I'm anchored really well on the wheel, or on the rim, kind of in the wheel. And I'm anchored really well over there mm -hmm. on something really strong. Just extended that uh, thread a little bit. And, and I got my cargo pole pushing on a piece of aluminum coated with cardboard to protect that edge. So when it starts to move, it'll actually hold on. So it's time to move this. So I'm just gonna use a simple drill. No need to use left hand uh, winding. This is right hand clockwise winding. So my chuck won't unwind. Let's see if we can get this thing to move and also protecting that edge as well. Got some good movement right there. There's some good one there, look at that. And holding strong on this edge. That hip crop's holding up. All right, I'm gonna stop that right there. Go back the other way, ease it down a little bit. Okay, move this thing out of the way, and yes, I am protecting that edge real well. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna move it up a little higher. All right, I moved it up. Now I'm over at the very end, and I'm gonna try and move this right here, take the pressure off that buckle, and protect my edge really well. So let's do that. It's nice to drill again. You don't have to use your hand. That fatigue again I talked about, no fatigue here, just some real precision. See, I'm supported there really well. It's a good deal so far, let's go. Wow, nice. 
Mm -hmm. I think that's good right there. I'm gonna start tapping the crown, getting this done. Just pulling it nice, knocking down that crown, and didn't ruin that edge. There's my setup. All right, I moved it down a little further on the wheel. Got a nice spot over there. Plenty of pull. There it is. Nice pull right there. Okay, I'm gonna grab it right there on the wheel. Good spot over there. Complete confidence. With only two pores, look how thin that is. This is collision glue systems. Only two pieces of glue, and it's looking fantastic. All right, enough glue pulling. You know, if you can get behind a panel, it does not make sense to keep glue pulling, especially if you have a dent dial. And you've got plenty of power and you can just slide behind it. That's what's great about fenders and certain cars. This is one of them where you can actually get behind the quarter. And the difference is just amazing how easy it is to move the metal. You know, it just, it's just so fast when you get in there and just start pushing. And it's coming together. And I am on my way to a finish. Check it out. Okay, all done with this BW Beetle. Let's take a look. Really nice. A little texture down here. Texture all over, really. But it's gonna be covered with this wrap. 